Hey, sexy people. Oh, sexy people. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thanks. We have Miss Emerald Love <laughs> in the building. Thanks for having me, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. We also have a tremendous actor, adult performer, Mr. Britt Cummings. <laughs> All right. And we have the jester. <laughs> <laughs> that J guy. We'll give him a round of applause too. Well, now we know what a J stands for. <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> you deserve that one. And me, I'm the most, the, the host with the most, the guy that you know says what the fuck he wants to say, does what he wants to do, and that's why motherfuckers hate and love us, Mr. Flourish, and Twitter, Mr. Flourish six nine. If you're catching this in YouTube, make sure you check the description. All right, because it's also going to include links to their Twitters of the of the individuals on the podcast as well as. Those three actually, and another one's going to be doing some things later. So there's a not safe for uh, uncensored link. Make sure you hit that too when you catch this. Perhaps two clicks, boom, you're there. If you're curious what they do, because they're going to talk about a lot of shit. If you catch this on Twitter, check the first comments, you know, support the people. But let's talk. Let's talk. Emerald. Hey, how are you? Are you a hoe? Yes. <laughs> let's get right down fucking to it, right? Yes, uh... You know, I'm a paid one. Ah, was is the difference? Between, okay, what's the difference between a paid one and a non-paid one? What's the difference? Well, a paid one gets more benefits. The other one, the free one, just does it for free with no benefits. So you have a, from what I understand, you have a unique sex cycle. Like within every two days, you gotta get, you gotta have some bumping and grinding. Absolutely, minimum, minimum every two days. So, like, basically, daily is preferred. Yeah, ba- daily is preferred. It just it just keeps it me in a better mood. It just keeps my cognitive <clears throat> abilities better. So, like, if you don't have if you don't have sausage, about a third day you walk around staggering and everything like that. Oh yeah, I'm cranky. Yep, <laughs> on <laughs> edge. Yep, I'm a better person with s- sausage daily. Right. So is it the same sausage or we have a variation of sausage? Are we talking about a mar- supermarket? <laughs> I have a variety. A oh. variety, different cities. Um, oh. I, I like all sausages. She got area codes, fellas. Mm-hmm. She got area codes. Abdullah. What a Polish sausage. <laughs> Matter of fact, you kind of clarify some things. So are women more sexual than men since you got to fuck every two days? Are women more sexual than men? That's it. Bring that mic closer to you, uh, like higher, closer to you. But yeah, that's a great question, though. That's a really good question. I think mm, that's really hard to say. Uh, You know, honestly, in general, I think men are hornier than women. But women get it more. They can get it when they want, how they want it. So they have access to sex more than men. Yeah, I think women definitely have more access to sex than men. God like, damn. Yeah, yeah. It's like you can call for a booty call and she's going to be like, I'm busy, I'm on my period. She call us, we're going to be like, when, where? We, we driving on fucking rims like get, to get to the house. Damn, dude, you just got to be one of the lucky few. Mm. Facts, mm. facts, facts. That's why she have choices. Exactly. She gets to call you if you're not available, she's going to be like, all right, let me call him. Damn, and then it turned into like... They so sneaky with it too that you will never know. You never know. Mm-hmm. You even never if you won or you one hundred and one. Like you don't even know. I just want to be next. <laughs> <laughs> I could be one or one hundred and one. Just give me some. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> that's what's up, man. So, um, speaking of, y'all got a scene coming up tonight. Why don't y'all tell tell uh, the people about the storyline? It's a it's a it's a scene with um, shout out to our sponsor, the Flourish Triple um, X, the Flourish XXX. They pay all the bills, so and whoever's behind them, thank you. Whoever he or she is, plays all tons of bills, so they can do dope shit like this. But anyway, why don't you tell us about that uh, the scene coming up, or are they all about to do? Are oh, you talking about the egg roll shit? Yeah, bro. <laughs> so credit to Phantom. Phantom ain't around, but Phantom Strokes, who was on the cast last night, by the way. Yeah, Phantom came up with the idea. But I'm gonna tell my idea first because I can't I can't remember what Phantom said, but we're going with his. But mine was about Uber. being an Uber driver, 
right? You pick us up to go get something to eat. And then you ask, like, you know, some regular, like, get to know somebody type of questions. So where are you guys going? Where are you, going, where are you getting something to eat? And you're like, oh, we're just filling, you know, some egg rolls. We're going to go get some egg rolls. And you're like, are you guys fucking gay? Like, what, what, what's the deal with that? So that was my little fucking stupid idea. But Phantom, uh, go ahead, Kmart. You go ahead. You explain what Phantom said. So Phantom said something like, we're watching a game, and all of a sudden we're like, yo, we hungry, and she comes over with egg rolls. We eat the egg rolls, but then they're not that good. We take them, we're like, what the hell is this? It's just nasty. And then she's like, oh, I bet if it was chicken, you would eat it. If it was fried chicken. Fried chicken. See, we're kind of, we, we're playing on like the little yeah. race stereotype thing here. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And then I'm like, you know, but it was some cat, I'll eat that. Mm-hmm. No, she's supposed to throw some raw chicken at y'all. It's like some raw chicken breasts. Get with the E. coli and everything on it. Yeah, but that's not fried, though. <laughs> it doesn't matter. She's going to slap you across the face. Mm-hmm. Man, she's going to get slapped across the face. And then, no, she's and then you're supposed to, she's supposed, she's with going to bring sausage? you. With some sausage? With some sausage. Yeah, that's a with yes for me. That's, that's fine. Those are my dues. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then she's going to bring you some lemonade, and then you spit it out. Well, don't, t- don't, t- don't, t- don't go lemonade. that deep. lemonade. Yeah, oh, you can't make lemonade. Yeah, maybe they gotta check it out. They gotta check it out. Oh, can't That's, tell them everything. I digress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. <laughs> but anyway, so um, Brick, you've been in the game for how long? I say three years now. Three years of some change. No, not two. Two and change. That that first. Tell us about some of the, the the twists and turns of the industry for your perspective. Then we can get into Emerald as well. Twists and turns. Yeah. Well, if you're a guy. Hear me and hear me loud. Hear me clearly, yo. So, you're going to get approached. If you're a straight guy, you're going to get approached by a lot of different, you know, uh, perspectives in sexuality. I'll just put it that way. You get more than two pills. No red and blue. You get a few. Man, bro. I've been offered, like, good money for my dirty underwear, right? I don't care what amount of money you're offering me. I'm not going to give you. First of all, I don't wear underwear. <laughs> so I don't have no underwear to sell. But, you know, I'm cleansy and all that. For the right price, you better go buy some. Hey, man, I don't give a... Hey, some things just ain't for sale. But, you know, no, ain't no but when it comes to that. <laughs> but moving forward, I mean, you, you kind of figure out, like, when you're working for different companies, production companies. Uh, I mean, I don't want to name any specific ones. If you've seen me on some other platforms, you know... But, you know, some carry out the day differently than others. Bang, bang, bros. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang, bros. I didn't know if that was cool to say. But, you know, they're, they're a little bit more uh, directive on how they want their scene shot. So you have to be game to those tasks. Like my last one with bang, bros was uh, it was like a made, made POV, like maids, like cleaning the house. And I, I knew of this you know, this type of series that they do. And I ain't never done it on, at the Bang Bros level or, you know, at their production studios, their rules. So things are like repetitive, super repetitive. And the guy, Big Lou, shout out to Big Lou, camera guy, uh, producer, um, and uh, and, and George. Uh, But, you know, the camera guy, Big Lou, he was instructing me all day on that. He was like, hey, man, this is going to get real repetitive and you're going to get tired. You just got to get used to it. So if you want to be successful in this industry, man, you just have to be willing to jump through the hoops. You know, as a guy, you have to, you know, keep your body in shape. You did got to stay hard at all times. I mean, these these big production companies, they, they, stay, they stay on top of you, man. If you mess up one time, they ain't going to call you back for a while because you lost trust. You, you breached the boundary for them. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's just a little tidbit of what I've experienced. It's been fun, though. It's been fun. No doubt, no doubt. What about you, Emerald? I mean, you've been in the game for, what, three years? Yeah, three years. Tell us about some of the trials and tribulations, what you've picked up, what things, like, damn it, I wish I would have did it different, or, you know. You know, that's a really good question. In this three years... I've learned to accept who I am and all the differences in me 
because, um, you know, there's a really high beauty standard in this industry. You're constant being constantly being compared to other girls. Like, you know, people will say you need to do this. You need to have that look, do this, do this scene, do, you know, all sorts of things. But, you know, in the long run, I've learned that, just accept yourself and your differences and um that'll really help you like being different is good you don't want to be like everybody else so just stay true to yourself and uh find what you like and what's comfortable and if you're doing what you like and what's comfortable then um like within your limits then you can't go wrong with that That's dope. That's dope. What about you, man? JJ guy. I've been on and off for like three, four years now. You like it in the booty? Nah, definitely okay. don't. <laughs> <laughs> definitely don't. That's why I go over there. <laughs> um, what's what's cute? It's, it's kind of dope though. Um, just hearing the different perspectives of everyone, right? Um, it gives a, it puts a different slant, right? On you know, everybody has this whole idea. It's like, oh, I'm gonna enter the adult world and it's going to just be perfect. Or I'm, or I'm going to start doing OF and I'm going to just start making four racks a month or three for a week. And it's like, you have to go through the rigors just like anyone else. And, 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 you know, there's a lot of hurdles. There's a lot of things that obstacles that have to be overcome that some of them are there on purpose. You know, the gatekeepers, right? They, who keeps, who tries to put up dumbass, say, rumors on Flourish? You know, really, literally, like, we, we hear a different dumb rumor every other month, right? And it's like you're the gatekeepers, and you don't, you know, you, that whole suppression, right? So it's like they, if you're in their country club, you're okay. But if you're not in their country club, you know, shit is real. It doesn't matter what industry you're in, whether you're in financial industry, sports and gaming industry, betting industry, right? You know, how do you get licensed for certain things? Alcohol, liquor industry is like, okay, ooh, I want a liquor license for something like whatever. Oh, you got to go through someone. Mm-hmm. Or else it's just going to be tough You know, it's the same barriers and, and, and gatekeepers, whatever But i um, not trying to get too political there but Let's get back to Emma and her fine self <laughs> Hey, thanks You are Vietnamese, right? Yes But you like black meat? Oh, I love black so meat So what do you call black and meat? <laughs> what? Is I that a sausage? I don't know Black and meat? Oh, that sounds good so how many guys is have you like your most you've ever been with? At, at, one at the same time. Yeah. Oh, at the same time. Oh, at the same time I did do five uh back in September. That was really fun. Who was it, that with? It was for a company. Yeah, yeah let's not say their name. Oh yeah. Okay. It was for a company. It was really fun. Okay. It you know, it was really fun and unique because um each guy had a different size sausage. So it was everything from small, medium, large, and XXL, and it was a nice variation. Yeah. So are you are you a size queen? Am I a size queen? You know what size is nice, but also I'm very sensitive down there. So like even a finger feels good. So I I would say I like all sausage. Okay. I don't discriminate. So is 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 it the length or the girth that gets that that, that really turns gets you there? I think it's the girth. Mm. Well, there's so many unique shapes and sizes, you know, because even a finger could feel good, you know. I think she's telling you all something. I think she said earlier. <laughs> she said she likes to be stressed out. No, she said something to, to Kmart, to to that J guy. She was like, "Is it okay for me to say this?" She was like. I'm just so stretched out. And we were like, wait, what? <laughs> she was like, yeah. I, and that's when it went into, I got to have sex every two, two days. days. It was like, damn, you like to be stressed out. Yeah, it's like a muscle, you know? You, you got to work out that muscle. And then it just retracts. Like, <laughs> yeah, you got to keep doing it. <laughs> oh, boy. Keep doing it, keep practicing. She does it over and over. Practice those Kegel muscles. Oh, wait. Um, then I had, I had five guys. Oh, and then I did, uh, eight guys. Damn. 
Yeah, all it, it was all in up. one day. But did, did um, you see? Separate. I did not. I did not close my mouth when you. Said that little, <laughs> my mouth was open, it and does. I just remind, like, okay, I can't. What the hell? Can, wait, can I say what it yeah, was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a eight guy glory hole. Oh, but not at the same time. But yeah. well, like one after the other. Is, but it's back to back. It's like a train. Yeah, one after the other. Yeah, stationary was, trains. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's just say I got a lot of protein that day. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> so, yeah. what would you say your your head game on a scale of one to ten? Be honest. Do you head, teeth? Do you I, use your teeth a lot? My head game, one to ten. It depends on the dick size. Like, of course, like if you have like a mandingo, like if it's gigantic, like that's kind of unavoidable. I'll use, you know, so I'll a be little. Fine. I'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> okay, my head game. I would say nine. I would say a nine. You know, if I had a dick, I think I would look, be man, a ten. Just, look, 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 dude. Let me tell you what she's doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me. You know, let me tell you what she's doing right now. She is, she's trying to impress somebody. She's trying to impress a boss of bosses. She, she is. She's like, listen, this is my head. So she's talking to you. I'm but asking she, the right questions. Here. But but she's she's redirecting to me. Indirectly, just, indirectly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, she's I like, see what's going on. She's like, hey, but he's like, hey, daddy, what you doing? What you doing tomorrow? So, let me ask you this. You know, guys, <laughs> what? He wasn't finished. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, this is for everybody here. All to do is in here. I think a lot of us prefer head over pussy. This is a theory. Nah, I prefer pussy. I think a lot of guys prefer head over pussy. I think if you're I in a relationship. That. If a girl does not give head, but she gives up the pussy, I bet that won't last as long as a relationship that one does give both. But it depends on the guy, though, because like me, I've been doing this for a while, and I've never came from blowjob. So it's like... This is different. Yeah. Like, industry fucking is different from regular fucking. You I'm relax, talking. you yeah. ain't tense, you ain't thinking about shit. Nah, I want the pussy. I, I love me a good, what sloppy bubbles, give me all of that. I prefer that. I'm give me two minutes. I'm done. Oh, so that was your mint in the bathroom? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yo, what, uh, yo. What were those mints? What were those mints? <laughs> yeah, what were no, those so I went in the bathroom, right? <laughs> yeah. I was looking for some gum. I even asked the makeup artist and everything. So I went in there and I saw like the like some Altoys in the on the, the blowjob mints. So I looked at it, started asking everybody, hey, are these your mints? Are these your mints? And then uh, that J guy was saying, like, hey, no, nah, those those ain't mints, bro. I'm ignoring what he said because I think he fucking with me. I was like, hey, bro, well, like, these yours? And I asked all the females because they got strawberries on them. And then I read it. It says, like. Uh, Mouth watering. No. <laughs> it, said, like, dr- it said, like, drug 225. I'm like, what the hell are these? And I see mouth watering. And I look, I, I started comparing the, you know, connecting the dots. I'm like, oh. You should take a few of those, you know, you, for your check. Just get it out. No, I don't got no shake. <laughs> your check, your check. Oh, no. no. Oh, I'll oh try. yeah, I'll give it to her. Yeah, That's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, I want to try. There you go. Let me go get yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> after this, after this, after this. Um, that's dope, though. It's funny, though. So, Emerald, real quick, let me ask you this, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, what is the. The craziest place you've ever did it at, for one. Ooh. And did you ever get caught by your parents? <laughs> yeah. Talk about it. Oh, which one? The craziest place? Both. I've, oh, okay. I don't know. The craziest place. I, you know, it was it, it was in my younger days, and it was like in a stairwell. It was in a stairwell, and. Let's just say, like, students were walking by, people, you know, heard some noises. Yeah, the people definitely saw, but uh, we didn't get caught. And you kept going. Yeah, we kept going. It, it was nice. I, I liked the excitement. I'm a, I'm a bit of an exhibitionist, so, you know, like, e- even at a young age, that kind of, like, sparked within me. Yeah, um, it, let's just say it was a stairwell at school, like, pretty open. Did he finish? Did he finish? Yeah, he finished. Where? 
He pulled out. Oh, man. Do you, like, you prefer them to leave it in, don't you? Yeah. You, I, you like <laughs> to feel the throbbing. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, the, the yeah. throbbing, the the warm, the gushing sensation. And it helps me feel, like, close and connected to that person, you know? Are you attracted to the person? Okay, speaking of connection. Just yeah. On, just, just run with it, really. Are you connected to a person's, um, if they like, ooh, have some ripped body, or are you connected to a person that has a lot of money, or are you connected to a person if like their personality is just off the shelf and intelligent? What what is out of those three, which one has the most weight to you? The personality has the most weight, yeah, for sure. Because like after you know, sex is really important to me, obviously. But, you know, sex only lasts so long. It's those in-between conversations and the connection and laughing. Oh, and smiling. You know, that's very important. That will always outweigh over... We immediately started smiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that will always outweigh money or, like, your body. Because, you know, I've had, uh, you know, all like a ripped guy and he treats me badly. And so it doesn't even matter where I've had guys that have a lot of money and treat me badly. And it means nothing. It's not, it's not very valuable mm. personality for sure. Mm -hmm. So do you like, do you, are you into rimming or no? Am I into rimming? Um, you know, honestly, a lot a guy, of people if, don't. If, if a guy flipped you over, yeah, like y'all are kids, well, he just flipped you over, or he's, you know, he's giving you cunnilingus, or you know, or and he just starts, he puts his tongue there. What are you gonna do? Laugh, because I'm ticklish. <laughs> 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 I'm right. gonna laugh because I'm ticklish. Well, you so your know, booty hole's ticklish. Yeah, my so booty hole's ticklish. Um, but you know, like a lot of people don't know how to lick ass. Like oh, show us real quick. Like you Not got to like, <laughs> like trace it, trace Is the that circle, any? yeah, like around it. A lot of people go too fast. Like they go like, uh, well, like I don't, I don't like that. Like you, uh, I like it slowly. Like it, it like she ooh, wants it passion. Makes, yeah, like it's so nerdy when people go too fast. Like that's how I feel with like kissing, like. Rimming, like eating my pussy, like I'm so just like, ever, whoa. Have you ever, have you ever smashed a, a producer director after the scene? Not yet. Hmm. Every day is a new day. Hmm. What, what's wrong with your right eye? What's wrong with your eye there? <laughs> I heard a gulp and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that yeah. was me. I just drank the water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, somebody's <laughs> getting excited. <laughs> That's dope. Um, and I'm not, you know, I'm, this is Mr. Flores. I'm videographer, director, producer, editor, day trade, stock trader, media, media. Yeah, now it's it's just something. Have my hands in a lot of different places, but I wanted to bring everyone together here to just to, to talk before y'all did the funny scene, and then some hellacious um, mixing bodies at the top of Mount Everest. You know, let's go to the top, but it, but um, that J guy. Britt Cummings. And bro, actually, you know what? Shout out your Twitters and your OnlyFans just in case someone catches this. The replay value is really strong. You know, when you go live spur of the moment, you know, it's like, oh, wait. They, they actually talk, but then next thing you know, it's like it's being replayed like thousands and thousands of times worldwide. So why don't you shout out your Twitters and OnlyFans or whatever? My Twitter and OnlyFans is Emerald Loves with one X. Um, that's the same for my Instagram, all my sites. It's just Emerald Loves with one X. I got three for you. Uh, OnlyFans at Brick Cummings with two Ks. Twitter at Brick underscore Cummings with a C. Stick with me now. IG is regular at Brick Cummings. Twitter is that J guy. That's with a D A T J guy X X X. And my OnlyFans is that J guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, they call me eating a donut. Y'all can't see this. Yeah, it was so far he was trying to talk. Like, no. Emma, Emma, Emma wants to lick it off me now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lick it off you. 
always down for something sweet. What happened to the sound effects? Mm. I don't know about that one, man. I don't know about that one. You know? Mm. Okay. See? No sound effects. Okay? It wasn't warranted. No, it wasn't warranted. <laughs> but anyway. Oops. That's a sensor button. I don't need to do that. Cool. So anyway. Jay, you ready? I'm ready. Hell no, you ain't. So, Brick, Brick, there you go, right? Brick, are you ready? I'm good. Emerald, you ready? I'm ready, baby. Would you stop? (laughs) (laughs) You know what? You know what? Fuck this shit, yo. So, Emerald, tell me this. How many sugar daddies you got right now? How many sugar daddies do I have right now? Yeah. Don't say no names, obviously. How many? The last fingers? one broke up with me. So Why? I don't have any. Why? Uh I think uh I think his wife found out. I don't think she was cool with it. How long, how often did you used to see him? I used to see him like twice a month. Yeah. He was really generous, really sweet. Generous like what? Generous. Give an example. Ballpark. <laughs> Seriously, ballpark. People want to know, yo, for real. You know, he's generous with his money, but he's also, like, generous in the bedroom. Like, I don't understand. This man is, like... How old was he? 54. And he could keep going and going for, like, two hours straight. No breaks. Like, he doesn't even... Do you prefer breaks versus, like... Some women I've heard, they prefer, like, give them intensity for 15... The twenty minutes and then take a break and come back because they because this different intensity brings different moments. That's what I've heard. Mm-hmm. Then it's like there's a guy that can well away for forty five to fifty minutes and I'm like I don't want to be sore, mm-hmm. you know. So what do you prefer? I In prefer all life. of it. God damn it, she's fucking crazy. Well, after every two days, <laughs> like, of course you're gonna. She have wins one. every time. I know, right? You know, that's just amazing. Yeah. Anyway, so. You never how generous ballpark. What's the ballpark? This a person you know that you're looking for. That, your, your your SD application. What is it like your range that you, that you're expecting? Like money wise or time wise? Like money-wise. what do you mean by that? The roses, yeah, roses, yeah. roses, yeah. You know, like I think every time we see each other, I believe a minimum. Wait, I can say numbers. That's that's okay. Ro- yeah, how many roses? Yeah. Oh, at least oh, two thousand roses. Yeah. At least for like what a a, a weekend, a weeknight. I mean, a day, a night, or what? Um, for a few hours. Okay. Yeah, but like for like a weekend. Hmm. Like, fr- let's say, like, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, let's do, like, 6,000 roses. Wow. So what 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 is your your sh- sugar daddy experience? What is that like? Mm. What is that like to all the daddies out there that check this out? It's like, yo. I'm next. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I like a sugar daddy that has a lot going on for himself, like, I would prefer if he's like married or has like other girlfriends because, because I have a busy life right, as well. Right. I I like something where we see each other like maybe like twice a month and um we just, you know, have a good fo- good straightforward time cuz we all have lives, you know? Twice a month doesn't mean like one day though, does it? Like maybe the weekend. Yeah, maybe the maybe one weekend of the month. And then, like, one, you know, night that we hang out. See, in the hood, we call that a situationship. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. A good one. But this one, you spend it on. Either way, you spend the money. Mm -hmm. It it doesn't... Okay, let's break this down. Pay to play. (laughs) Always. In the words of Young Jeezy, you got to pay to play. But... Everything costs, man. It doesn't really matter if, if if any. Let me say, if you're a young cat and you catch this, let's say you're coming out of college and college, but the time that you don't pay almost is like high school. Even when you're in college, you're paying. Time is valuable. You understand that. You understand that that the the paradigm that time is as you get a little bit older, because 
how do you spend your time? What do you spend your time doing? Is it enriching, et cetera? Is it moving the needle forward with something else? So if you're doing something, if, if I'm out there doing something with someone, right, and I'm just getting my rocks off, but I'm taking my time away from something that actually can be bettering something, making more money doing something, or putting, my, putting one of my people in a position to win, that time is, is actually more costly than you, you know, so it's not a matter of only monetary, right? Mm-hmm. Time, you know, is, 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 that's one. Number two, okay, how many times you got to take a person out? You know, you got to go, you got to feed them, you got to take them out. You know, it's like you got you to gotta go to the club or, or uh, the comedy club. You know, there's, there's something, there's some function she wants to go, oh, let's go, you know, whatever. So now you're spending money there. So it doesn't really matter. It's not a matter of like, ooh, a per visit or per occasion. That becomes into the equation if you're dealing with women in the adult world. Entirely. Entirely. Or not adult world, right. So it's it's still costly. It's like the only being, you know, being, being, not human being, but being that it doesn't cost is a dog. Dogs love you regardless. You got to feed them. It's still costly. Yeah, but the love isn't though. Yeah, the love isn't though, right? So you know, my whole thing, you know, I've had arrangements before. Um, actually, how I got into the adult world is because I had two at the same time, same damn time, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> yo, know, and then I put them in the same spot. I, I just I do what the fuck I want to do. But anyway, um, but I learned a lesson there too, because even if you think something can be conducive or everything can be cool and copacetic. Jealousy still hits at some point. Yeah. You know? Like, why did this person get this kind of person? Da, 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 da. You know, so it's like, you just got to watch it. So I've decided I'm never to have two. You just need to stay at an odd number, maybe three. I'm not- <laughs> 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 but on that note, we hit the 30 minute mark, 32 minutes. We're going to go ahead and uh, get into the, the acting and everything. So everybody, y'all can check this out. Remember, if you're catching this on YouTube, Check the description. Um, you see the uncensored link to see what they actually did. Um, you will see their acting part in YouTube as well. Um, but also, you can also hit their, their Twitter links if you catch this in uh, Twitter world. Check that first comment or the top comment. Um, follow them. Um, check out what they're doing. Support them as creators. And if you listen to Spotify or Apple, uh, if they ever clear us, um, just follow the dialogue. You, you should hear it and know where to go. All right? Y'all, two, y'all three ready? Actually, another person too. But y'all ready? Ready. Ready. All right. Let's do it. Thanks.